Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here, back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3, Scenario 3, and as you can see, I've got my force ready, we're all healed to full, we're gonna go after the Rainblood, so let's see if I can do this without dying. I'm betting on the answer being no. I'm probably going to lose at least someone in this fight. I want to try to move my flyers in range to get up there quickly. What spells do they have again? You've got Tornado 3 and Thanatos, so A AoE, a single solitary AoE, and you're gonna go for... Okay, that was stupid. Just gonna throw that out there. That was. That was dumb. Granted, I'm surprising it's doing that much damage. Being, being spread out that much. They must have ridiculous magic attack stat. And as you can see, Kate is level 20. She killed a Hell Succubus. She's blocking our path and it kind of pissed me off. So, she is now higher level than anyone else in the force, but that is okay. I feel bad doing that. How much? Yeah, we'll do that and then an attack level one on someone. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to do too much damage. It's He's a caster. He's going to be very resilient against magic. I just wish I could get more of my force up the stairs. I've, I've kind of hit the bottleneck section. And you're going with a spear. Who You're attacking Jubei. Oh, crap. Jubei was the only one not healed to full. Why was Jubei not healed to full? Oh well, that's what healing items are for. So I am not going to let Jubei die in his first fight. He just joined my force. I don't want to kill his faith in my abilities that quickly. And hey, I can get up here and start attacking people. Who am I going to start attacking? The one with the magic! Alright, I can't attack, but what I can do... Oh damn, I don't even need to use slow level... Why do I keep thinking s slow level 1 is a single target? It does not follow the same rules as other AoEs. Defense and agility decrease. Now is when the pain will start. Forty-four damage. Yeah, that's that's useful actually. And I can't attack there, so we're gonna move over here. You you have magic. We're going to put that to good use. Because I'll be damned if you hit me with a high-end magic attack spell again, and it actually do damage. Yeah, not going to happen. kind of wondering why half of my force is kind of weakened. They should not be weakened. Hey, look! Sucks to be you and your spear-wielding self, doesn't it? Alright, Red Dragon, you can... You can go off and do whatever, I don't care. Uh, what do I got? I got that. I was gonna use an attack spell, but it's only gonna affect one person. Might as well do some damage to both of them. Hi, Rowan. What are you doing? 
you don't normally come up into my lap. At least not when I'm recording. What's up, little man? You watching me kill the Rainbloods? Hypno Arrow. Rowan's not normally the, the lap cat. He's very... Very much a... A loving cat. Very nice, but... Alright, um... Yeah, I'm gonna be that big of a dick. I could have used Inferno. But I didn't. I could have, but I didn't. And Gracie is now level 20 with Aura level 3. And one Rainblood is down, and we find a silver ring off of his carcass. And a Hell Succubus coming in to be slight pain in my ass. And now Rowan is numbing on my palm. What the hell is wrong with you, cat? There is something wrong with you. Yes, there is. There is something not quite right in your head. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're... You're silly. And... I could end this. I could end this, but I'm not gonna. Not with a level 19. I've got level 18 still. I'm gonna let them come in and have some fun. And you poison Protom. Okay. I'm gonna start doing some damage to these guys. I, I could kill... I mean, I just killed the succubus. Uh, I'm not gonna drop anything for the fairy powder. Screw that. Proton, the commander, will attack the slash bat. And almost one-shot it. That should be a clue that the slash bats are useless. Alright, uh... I don't think it'll kill him. No, it'll kill him. And two of the Rainbloods are down! And I still have two level 18s. That's kind of disappointing. Yep, yeah, they were... well, they weren't really all that powerful. They were kind of a letdown. This is dreadful. The Julian army gets credit for this. Yeah. Gather your false confidence. Ooh, them's fighting words for a dead guy. Yeah, they're... they're not. Yeah. Well, considering... If you're going by ranking, yeah, I would say so. Because Knight and Rook... Knights are pretty strong. Rooks... Rooks are dangerous. He is the strategist. We should have the Rainbloods versus the chess, uh, chessboard army in Shining Force 2 and see who would win. We must find my village before dark. Yeah, we should be able to find it by dark. Onward to my village! And so we got all the items in that, and that's actually the end of the chapter. 
Huzzah! I'm kind of surprised. We're at the end of the chapter once we find my village. We can't find the village. Like how they're only like three spots away. We can't see anything. No, nothing, nothing. Could have swore I saw something over behind Kate, but apparently not. Or may yeah, maybe it is. What does it sound like? Well, it sounds soft and strange, Benetrim. Gather around Kate. Why are we gathering around Kate? I saw something over there. Holy crap! The village floats! Well, I mean, if it's anything like the, uh, the Holy Ark that was flying around... Why are you surprised? We fought the the Valkyrie, which is a, a floating weapon. Yeah, they'll, they'll welcome us. Let's go. Um, sure. All right, let's. Enough with the head nodding, guys. Come on. Chapter question end. That's chapter four end. The two Rainbloods are defeated, but Julian's force pass through the mountains to where they expect to find Arkale. However, when they get there, nothing awaits but a strange flying village. Let's see. Chapter. Yes. Yes, we'll go ahead and replace the file. So this starts us off chapter five, the creator's heritage which, or the creator's legacy, I guess, different translation. And... So we go in, all of the buildings are flying except for one, which is the church. So... We can save it again, but I mean, we just saved it. I mean, it seems kind of redundant, but it's the only thing that we have access to right now. Must be on edge. Edge of what? I'd prefer not to leave the ground. Sleeping in the air is tradition from ancient times. How is that tradition? So the, the propeller, the helicopter propellers are keeping the houses in the air. Yeah, let's go to the church, shall we? Yeah, let's wait. Except there's not going to be any waiting. Notice how there's barrels. Except those are battle barrels, not search barrels. And all the little mailbox type things letting us know where everything is. And a cart. So... Uh, let's... 
make note of all the barrels. There's three barrels over there. And that's our headquarters, which we can adjust items. I'll go ahead and do that, because I got a lot of items through that. Because I'm, I'm really running out of time. There's not anything I can really do at the moment other than go to the church, and that'll just prompt another fight. Alright. Give all the items. Oh, I've got a lot of items. Crap. That's... Alright, uh... Hugnir, I got three Saint Mages. I a lot of those, didn't I? And deposit that. We haven't really looked at his stats. I'll do that in a second as well. That'll take up a minute. Alright, Gaia Axe. We're going to give that to Leon. Lowers his attack by one, but raises his defense and agility. Which is infinitely more useful. What else do we got? We got Wendigo Wand. That. What? What weapon does she? She uses wands, doesn't she? So I can give that to her. Yeah, she uses one. So now she's got Windigo. Yeah, wand. So that's useful. Which means I could have used the volcano volcanon rod on her. She could have had volcan uh, Phoenix summon, but that's neither here nor there. White ring. Who needs higher defense? could use it, but that would lower your 57, that would raise it to 62, but lower your attack, give it to Spiriel, I could give it to Jubei, Jubei doesn't have anything equipped right now, he's got an attack of 78, that's the lowest attack I've got out of anyone, so, I don't know, I'll figure that out. got what defense to start with. We need to figure out... Roly doesn't have anything. Thousand's defense is lower than 50. Honesty's defense. And I can give Jubei the Iron Bracer. 47. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, because Honesty's got lower... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Items give, or... Take... The white ring. Not the one ring. Give that to honesty. Take the iron bracer, which I got two of, and we'll give one of those to Jubei. Jubei can't use it. Well, crap. Well, then that's going to change that. Can he use the silver ring? He can. That's better than nothing, so we'll do that. Though I would have much rather given him an attack boosting item. So the one thing I hate about the bracers, half the people in the game can't use them, especially half of the people in Scenario 3. Alright, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here, it's just a little soon. Uh, well, let's walk over to the church, because that needs to happen, and I need to probably adjust my force to have Jubei put in. Alright, um, and there, that's a barrel. 
we need to remember where all those barrels are. We need that barrel. We need, we need to send someone over here to break that barrel, and then I can just use an AOE on these battles in the next fight. We want to remember this because this is when everything's going to get kind of funky. We can come talk to the priest. If we talk to him. The church's ascent was delayed today, so we were able to meet. Rest at headquarters for tonight. So what we do is we're going to go ahead and save it here. And the second we leave is going to get dicey. We walk out. They have they do have strange habits. It's not natural. Okay, what's the purpose of flying houses? It is, and that's why they do it. They fly up into the air, kind of like hiding food uh, up in the air to keep bears away. Oh, it doesn't really keep bears away, but it keeps bears from getting into your food. Let's fight this battle fast and efficiently. Alright, so we've got this fight. It's a, it's a fodder fight, but I can use it to help level up some of my people. And look at it, it's just, it's one huge clump of enemies. I can just AoE them. Uh, I've got to send someone over there. I'll probably send Kate over there to that one. Lots of bad guys. Cerberus, Hydras. Sandworms. Blue Dragon. Hey, a Blue Dragon. We can get him and be done with that. So yeah, I'm going to end this episode here, and I'll see you guys in the next installment. So until then, later everyone.